when I first met you, you were really sad. Yeah. Can you tell us, tell everybody what that sadness was about? It was sadness about having my father die of cancer and I put myself through hard times just dwelling over everything and I thought that I know this is true and I know this is this is happening but I just want to think about the good things that happened with us and the good hap like the good times and everything like you might not notice this but it's hard now for you to even talk about yeah the tough times yeah <laughs> and back then yeah it was hard for you to find good times yeah because you were so sad so when do you do the practices? I do them before I go to sleep. So that's really when everything just comes to me. Mm -hmm. And I, I lay on my bed and I breathe and I think about nothing. I just relax myself and I, I just, I realize that everything is going to happen for a reason. It makes me forget about everything, and I think about my grades. I want to keep my grades high so I can get into good schools and get a good job. It's always difficult to have to tell a story about bullying, but it's been in the news a lot lately, and it's a problem so bad that some kids have turned to suicide, drugs, or other risky behavior to escape. So joining me this morning is Marlies Carlin. Bullying is a problem in schools, as we all know, across the country. But help is out there. Joining us this morning is a leading expert who works with victims of bullying, Marlise Carlin. And it's even happened to me before. It's this group of boys that they all hang out, like they all hang out together, and they bully every possible person they can. A lot of my friends try to tell our teacher, but she just she tries to do something about it. But it just really won't happen and they just keep doing it. The Your boys friend. were bullying her and it was before school started so everybody was in the hallway and we were all talking and we all have like what we talk about and then he walked he walked to her and like started making fun of her and brought out his phone. Started taking pictures of her. Oh. And it's like I'm gonna put this on Facebook oh. and and like make fun of you. Oh. And like write mean things about you. That's and it's just cool. not okay, So you literally. heard him saying... We told the teacher. She brought him to the principal's office and the principal suspended him for, I think, like three days. And his parents were really upset because they didn't like how he treated people. And after he never messed with another kid in the school, he knew that if he made fun of someone else, it would affect him. I do it um, on my own sometimes when I'm like at school and I don't have my iPod with me. I feel like I hear the music in my head and I just, it calms me down and I just think happy thoughts. And Now. 